Okay, Tony, sound bites on the sofa. Uh, this topic is going to be around risk heat maps. Okay, yeah, sure. So, um, so Rob, risk is obviously really important um, for businesses to understand uh, the corollary, the other side of risk being opportunity, of course, but um, uh, to understand uh, the risks that any enterprise have. Um, it's really important. Um, why? Because it could impact the, the ongoing viability of the business, right? So, um, so I mean, risk is a massive topic in itself. I mean, we're not um, here to talk about the full end-to-end -end risk management, but um, risk heat maps are a way of capturing a, a view of um, of all the business risks, um, and uh, effectively, it's it's just like plotting them um, on a on a graph, you know, with your x-axis. In your, in your y axis, um, where you're looking at the, um, the impact and the likelihood of things happening. So, it's a way of um, providing uh, at quite a um, granular level um, the commercial lens on um, risks that businesses um, are exposed to and, uh, and classifying them um, into those four quartiles. So, from high impact, high likelihood, down to low impact and low likelihood. Um, and it's a way of of of, uh, of a of a business owner um, and board to um, to get the sort of the clarity around um, you know for all risks you know what 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 quarter do they do they do they sort of do they land in um, when you're reporting risk um, in this way uh, it's uh, it's important to to have the, the detail around the nature of the risk. Um, uh, and then you, you effectively sort of score, um, normally one through five, um, for each of those, the impact and the likelihood at a sort of a gross or a, an untouched um, risk level, and then looking at mitigation strategies. So there'll be some risks that can be, um, they can be managed through insurance, others through ceasing a certain activity, um, others through sharing the risk. I mean, um, and it's going to be different for, for every type of risk. but. For the, for the mitigation strategy, you, know, you plot the, you know, the gross position, look at the mitigation, and then rescore it with a with with net risk. And it's that net risk or the residual risk that um, the business needs to understand, because that is really um, uh, the, um, it's, it's, what, it's what's retained within the business after applying the, 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 the mitigation strategy. Um, so why is that important? Uh, well, um, so it, it does sort of point to, um, what the business needs to be uh, focusing on in its, uh, in its risk management framework to ensure that the appropriate um, protocols are in place. Mm. Um, one, of, one of the advantages of the heat map is it's visual, isn't it? It is. And so it's, um, it's easy to understand. That's um, right. And although there's, there's obviously um, a bit of detail behind the scenes of how to, how to map certain risks, um, certainly, from a management point of view, it's a it's a it's a great tool to have to highlight what yeah. the risks are and where they are. And That's right, and how important they are to the business. I mean, we, we, we've got a framework within Copper Fox that we use, and, and our, our clients are embracing it, um, and they're finding it uh, very very useful for, for that perspective. I mean, obviously, um, smaller organisations, um, you know, the delineation between. Um, between the management function and the board, it's um, you know it's it's often the same person or people that are involved in that. In large organisations, there are there are risks that are effectively managed within the business that the governance function don't need to have visibility of, um, uh, and that's okay um, so long as there is um, sort of clear accountability. So so part of our own framework is that we um, uh, pull together all those risks. And, uh, and make it clear those that um, the governance function would normally be um, interested in, which, as, uh, as I say, it's the residual risk and it's high impact and high likelihood, because those are the things that will impact um, the business viability or the valuation. Um, so uh, that's what they, what they need to be focusing on.